You know, in the world of AI, it feels like there's a new breakthrough, like, every single week. But once in a while, something drops that feels different, like a real leap forward. And today, we're talking about one of those moments. Google just launched Gemini 3.0, the very first model in their new Gemini 3 family. And guess what? It's rolling out everywhere right now. So let's get into it and see what makes this thing so special. I mean, Google themselves are saying this is their most anticipated launch of the entire year. And honestly, once you see what it can do, you kind of get it. This isn't just hype, you know? It's all about the absolutely massive promises Google is making with this new AI. And here's the big one. Google is basically saying this is a huge step toward AGI. That's artificial general intelligence. We're talking about AI that can do pretty much anything a human can. Now, let's be clear, they're not claiming they've cracked AGI, not yet, but they really believe Gemini 3.0 is a giant leap toward that goal. All right, so what is this next-gen AI, really? Let's break it all down. Okay, so at its heart, Google is calling Gemini 3.0 their most intelligent model ever. And its goal, well, it's pretty ambitious. They want to give you the power to bring basically any idea to life. That's a wild promise, right? So let's take a look at the tech that's supposed to make it all happen. So Google built Gemini 3.0's power on what they're calling its three core superpowers. And yeah, superpowers is the right word for it. Okay, first up is what they call state-of-the-art reasoning. Now, this is all about the model's ability to actually think and solve problems, not just, you know, spit out answers it's memorized. So what does that actually look like? Well, it means the AI can tackle really complex problems by planning several steps ahead. It's built to connect ideas that might seem totally unrelated, kind of like how we have aha moments. It makes decisions like a human would, but, you know, way, way faster. All right, superpower number two, and this one is a huge deal. Google is claiming that this is the best model in the world when it comes to multimodal understanding. So multimodal just means it can understand a mix of different things all at once. We're talking text, images, audio, video, you name it. But here's the real magic. It doesn't just see pixels on a screen. It actually gets the intent behind an image. It can look at a simple drawing and understand the big idea, the full potential of what you're trying to create. And that brings us to the third superpower, which is this really cool combination of two things, agentic tasks and something they're calling vibe coding. Sounds interesting, right? So let's break that down. Agentic basically means it acts like your own personal agent. It doesn't just answer questions. It goes out and completes complex jobs for you from beginning to end. And vibe coding, I love this term. It's its ability to write code that isn't just functional, but is clean, organized, and actually matches your personal style. It's literally like having a coding partner who just gets your whole vibe. Okay, I know that whole multimodal thing can sound a little abstract. So let's look at a mind-blowing example of how you can go from a simple doodle to a working reality. So imagine this. You sketch out a board game on a napkin. You draw the spaces, you write down the rules, the whole thing. You snap a picture and upload it. First, Gemini just looks at the image. Then it starts pulling out all the key parts. It figures out the rules, the goal, the whole concept of your game. And then, and this is the crazy part, it translates all of that into a fully playable interactive game. You can actually click and move the pieces. You're playing the game you literally just drew. And the best part, you didn't write a single line of code. And that right there brings us back to that agentic power we were talking about. This is what turns Gemini from just another tool into your own autonomous assistant. So here's the key thing to get. A Gemini agent isn't there to just answer your questions. No, it's an AI built to take on a big, complicated goal, break it down into smaller steps, make a plan, and then actually do the work from start to finish. It'll even problem solve as it goes, all to hand you a finished result. This comparison really makes it clear. Okay, on the left, you've got your typical AI. You ask for a website, it gives you a chunk of code. Helpful, maybe, but that's it. Now, look at the right. You give a Gemini agent the same request, and it researches your competitors, designs a layout, writes all the marketing copy, codes the entire web page, and even tests for bugs before handing you the finished site. I mean, come on, that is a massive leap forward. Okay, so we've seen the superpowers, we've seen the potential, but what does this all actually mean for you? How can you use this stuff? 
well, let's look at three really practical ways that you can put this tech to work. First up is learning. Imagine having your own personal tutor 24 seven. Gemini can break down really tough concepts, create study guides just for you, and even build interactive lessons that fit exactly how you learn best. Next, for all you builders and creators out there, think of Gemini as your idea accelerator. You can just describe what's in your head, sketch out a quick design, or show it an example of something you like, and boom, Gemini can build a working version for you. And finally, let's talk about planning. This is where Gemini becomes your strategic partner. It can help you map out an entire business, a complicated project, or even a big event. It'll think through all the steps, flag potential risks, and lay out the timelines for you. So all of this really leads to one final huge question. We're moving past AI as just a tool for finding stuff. We're entering a new era where AI is a true partner, a partner in actually creating and doing. So the question isn't, can I build my ideas anymore? The real question is, if your AI can build your ideas, what are you going to create?